What's up, insiders? Deuces Jack. I'm at vapinginsider.com. Today, we're going to go over the top 10 vape tanks of 2020. That means we're only covering sub ohm tanks that take factory coils. Coming in at number 10, we've got the Squid Industries Peacemaker V2. You guys know I love versatility, and that's the main reason the Squid Industries Peacemaker V2 made this list. Not only is this a sexy looking tank, but it takes smoke baby beast coils as well as Aspire BVC coils. What that means is you can go from a wide open DL hit to a legitimate mouth to lung hit all in one tank. Because of that Peacemaker look, it also looks fantastic on a Squid Industries double barrel V3. 25 millimeters in diameter, the tank will hold 3.5 to 6 mLs with the smoke coils, 5.5 to 8.5 mLs with the Aspire coils. Of course, the larger capacity is with the bubble glass installed. Dual slotted bottom airflow, available in black, rainbow, stainless steel, navy blue, and army green. At the nine spot, we got the EH Pro Raptor. This tank didn't make a lot of noise this year, but it quietly slipped into my top 10. The Raptor is a very flavorful tank that I have truly enjoyed. It's built well, and it uses a seagrass wicking system along with mesh coils. EH Pro as a company had a pretty good year this year. They had this tank, they had the Kelpie, and they had the awesome Cold Steel 100. I think the EH Pro looks fantastic on it. Another key feature about the EH Pro Raptor is it actually takes Horizon Tech Falcon coils, and you can get them anywhere. However, unlike the Falcon, the colors on the Raptor are limited to stainless steel, black, and gunmetal. If both flavor and clouds are your jam, you need to check this one out. 25 millimeters in diameter, 6 ml bubble glass, 4 ml with the standard glass. In the box, you get two 1.5 ohm single mesh coils rated for 70 watts. Coming in at number 8, we have the Aspire O'Dan. From the moment I got the Aspire Odan, I know I love the look of it. I think that diamond cut crystal glass is just fantastic looking. It's got that 70s vibe, baby, that I just dig. Not only does this tank look great, but it performs as good as it looks. One really nice feature are the plug and play coils. Watch the juice flow slot right there. As soon as you pull the coil out, it closes off the juice flow. I love that. You can swap coils mid-tank and not leak a drop. Another great feature is that locking slider top cap. You have to pull up and over to open it up. No problems shoving this tank in a pocket or a bag. You are not going to make a mess with that locking mechanism. For me personally, anything that vapes at under 60 watts, I consider a mid-range sub-ohm tank. This is one of the best mid-range sub-ohm tanks on the market right now. The only mid-range tanks that are better than this tank are the number five and number two tanks on this list. The Odan is available in blue, rainbow, emerald, stainless steel, black, and my personal favorite, smoky quartz. The Odan is 28 millimeters in diameter, you get 7 mLs with the standard glass, 5 mLs with the bubble diamond glass. In the kit, you get a 0.2 ohm mesh coil rated for 50 to 60 watts, and you get a 0.3 ohm mesh coil rated for 35 to 45 watts. Coming in at number 7, we have the Inikin Zenith Pro Tank. This particular sub ohm tank is a collaboration between Inikin, Phil Bizzardo, and Dimitri the Vaping Greek. Those guys love vaping on MTL setups. That's their thing and those are the kind of products they create. Basically what Inikin did was they took their slide tank and they improved it. They took all the feedback from their customers and answered the call. 
Unlike the original slide, the Zenit Pro has a swappable glass by removing the beauty ring. They got rid of that locking drip tip with that little nipple on the bottom. This one does not lock. And the Pro takes all of the Z coils. Phil and Dimitri even increased the capacity to a whopping 5.5 mLs, which is rather large when you consider that this is actually a mouth-to-lung tank. The airflow on the Zenit is very smooth, and I gotta be honest with you guys, I actually feel bad ranking it as high as number seven because the flavor is exceptionally good. The only reason it ranked this high is because it's more of a low wattage vape that I'm really not into. Check out that airflow. You can dial it in for a mouth to lung, or you can open it up for a loose mouth to lung. Just a really nice range when it comes to the airflow. Coming in at number six, we have the Smoke TFV-16. This is a big, and I mean big, tank. Along with its big stature come some big clouds and big coils. If all you want to do is chuck clouds, this is the tank to buy, especially this year. You buy this tank, you better make sure you got a nice size mod to house this beast on. This is one big dog that actually has a bite that is worse than its bark. Both the 0.12 ohm dual mesh and the 0.17 ohm single mesh coil are included in the kit and rated up to 120 watts. Right now, there are four coils in the TFV-16 family and they are all mesh coils. 28 millimeters in diameter, 32 millimeters at its widest point. This bubble glass holds a crazy amount of liquid, nine mLs with the bubble. Like most smoke tanks, it comes in a ton of different colors. At the five spot, we got the Nunchaku 2. I first received this tank with the Nunchaku 2 mod, and I gotta say, from the moment I started vaping it, I was very impressed with the flavor. The flavor on this tank is just banging. It's one of the better mid-range tanks that uses a mesh coil that I have ever vaped on. Even though UL has given me a really rough time this year, I gotta admit, they did a great job matching that tank up with the mod in kit form. I've been seeing this tank for around a 20 buck chuck on most vaping sites. That is an absolutely phenomenal buy. The coil system for the Nunchaku 2 is actually very well thought out because they actually have a little reservoir inside that redistributes the condensation to cut down on leaking. Very ingenious design. 29 millimeters in diameter, 5 ml capacity, as of the recording of this video, I believe there are only two coils available for this tank and you get one of each in the box. You get a 0.14 ohm mesh coil rated for 50 to 60 watts and you get a 0.2 ohm mesh coil rated for 50 to 60 watts as well. At the number four spot, we have the Horizon Tech Falcon King. This tank actually has been out for quite some time, but it's held its own. They have come out with the new Falcon 2 tank, and I have yet to receive it for review. What can I say? Deuces Jack gets no love from Horizon Tech. This tank is available in a couple of different iterations, such as the Falcon Resin and the regular Falcon. It really doesn't matter which one you buy, as they all pretty much vape the same. The only difference between the tanks and the Falcon line is a slight size difference. As far as coils go, you get a 0.3 ohm dual mesh coil and a 0.15 ohm M mesh coil. In the aftermarket, there are six other coils available for the Falcon line of tanks. I really love the triple mesh coil. This is one of the few sub-ohm tanks that I actually own in multiple colors because I like it so much. The Falcon King is 25.4 millimeters at the base, 26.2 millimeters at the widest point of the bubble glass. You get 4 ml juice capacity with the straight glass, 6 mLs with the bubble. At number three, we have the Freemax Mesh Pro. This old man's still around. Again, this tank's a little long in the tooth, 
but even though it's older, it's still an excellent tank. I love all my Freemax Mesh Pros. I probably own five or six of them, and I've been running them constantly. Not only is this tank very flavorful, but it's got a really nice coil family available for it. I really like the triple and the dual mesh coil on this tank. To me, they're the best compromise between clouds and flavor. When you buy your tank in the box, you will get a Canthal single mesh coil rated for 40 to 70 watts that ohms out at 0.15 ohms, and you'll get a dual Canthal mesh coil at 0.2 ohms rated for 60 to 90 watts. Last time I checked, the Mesh Pro was available in 17 different colors or finishes. Bottom line is, you are going to be able to find the tank that fits your style as far as looks go. In fact, that's probably why I own so many Mesh Pros. I feel like I always have something that I can match up with one of my new mods that I get on a regular basis. 25 millimeters in diameter, 6 ml juice capacity. There's an optional 5 ml and 4 ml glass sold in the aftermarket. Coming in at number two, we have the Inikin Ajax. Inikin had one hell of a year. They actually placed two of their tanks in our top 10. I love the flavor on this tank. In my original review, I did give it a little bit of a hard time because it was one of those tanks that is constantly wet. However, the flavor on this tank is so good, I'm willing to overlook that. I just think it's the best mid-range tank on the market right now. What can I say? I love the coil system on this tank. The longevity on the coils that I have been using has just been phenomenal. They just seem to last longer than most sub-ohm tanks and the flavor on them is some next level stuff. Buy this tank in kit form with the new MVP5 or the Proton Mini and you got yourself one hell of a setup. 24 millimeters in diameter, 5 mLs with the bubble glass, 2 mLs with the straight. At the number one spot, we have the UL Valerian. Like I said earlier, UL as a company gave me a really hard time this year. They are by far not the easiest company to work with, but I got to give them their due credit. They had a banner year this year, and two of their tanks made this list. The Valerian 2 in my opinion, is the best sub-ohm tank of the year. This is a great tank for both flavor and clouds. 29 millimeters in diameter, 6 mLs capacity with the bubble glass. Get yourself one and you can thank me later. Don't forget, insiders, we will have full review links down below where you can get these products at the lowest price. Click the card to check out the best vape mods of 2020 for these tanks. And that's it, insiders. That's all we got for you today. You keep living that vape life. Deuces.